Hello chemists and welcome to this week's Two Minute Tuesday. This is where I attempt to cover one small topic of your AQA A-level chemistry in about two minutes. And today we're going to look at five key enthalpy definitions that you need to know in your first year. And now if you haven't yet, click down on the subscribe button to join in all the fun we're having here on the channel. So we can't really cover enthalpy change definitions without starting with what is enthalpy change. And we define it as the heat energy change at constant pressure. Now, this has become a really common exam question in recent years, so it's definitely worth remembering. Next up then, we have the enthalpy of formation. And this is defined by saying the enthalpy change when one mole of a compound is formed from its elements in their standard states. And for water, it can be shown by this equation. Now, it's important to remember, it's only defined as making one mole of compound in this case, water. So we must adjust the reactants accordingly by halving the oxygen to make sure it's not in excess. In at number three then, we have the enthalpy of combustion. And this is the enthalpy change when one mole of a compound is burnt completely in oxygen. And we can show the enthalpy of combustion for methane with this equation here. Now we're burning one mole again, so we're gonna adjust the reactants to make sure that only one mole is burnt, no more and no less. We also must make sure it's complete combustion, so we're making carbon dioxide, not carbon monoxide. Now on to number four, bond enthalpy. This is the average enthalpy needed to break one mole of that type of chemical bond to form individual atoms with all compounds in their gaseous state. Now there are two bonds here in ethane, carbon hydrogen bonds and carbon carbon bonds. Now in this definition, it talks about the average enthalpy for all bonds of this type because you can get carbon-carbon bonds in lots of different compounds, and where they are actually changes how much energy they are needed to break them. This is why enthalpy data calculated in this way can sometimes be slightly different from data book. Saving the best to last, we have the enthalpy of ionization. Now this is defined as the enthalpy change when one mole of electrons is removed from one mole of atoms in their gaseous state. So when we write out the equation for this one, we must remember to pop these state symbols in there as well. Thank you, chemists. I hope you've enjoyed this Two Minute Tuesday. There are more of my Two Minute Tuesdays up here. And if you haven't already, click down here to subscribe.